Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today, while I was making coffee in the kitchen, Saturday morning, I got a knock on my door. It was a FedEx guy, and he had this package from Golden Artist Colors that he was delivering for me, or to me. Um, a few weeks ago, I called their helpline uh, because I had some questions about their products. And I spoke to this really, really awesome guy named Mike for about 45 minutes, actually. Um, and at the end, he basically asked me if I wanted him to send me some samples. And I said, sure, you know, I didn't ask for them. He offered it. And I'm like, okay, I'll take some samples. So I have a golden goodie box, we'll say. And I'm excited to see what's inside. I haven't, I've just unsealed it. I haven't actually opened it. So, um, but before I open it, you know, Golden is the company that makes the GAC 800 that I use. They also make um, fiber paste, which I used in, I think, one of my videos, the one with the desert tiles, um, heavy gel mat. They make some crackle paste, which I actually haven't used yet, so I'm excited to try that eventually. And they, they use, they make clear tar gel, which I'm excited to try, which I haven't tried yet. And absorbent ground, which is basically a covering for your canvas so that if you're going to drip inks on there, they'll really stick to it. And as you can see, I've used most of that product, but I have another large container. So um, they also make the high flow acrylics that I've used and the fluid acrylics like so. So and as well as heavy body paints. And they have a softer body paint uh, that are called go Golden Open Colors. I don't have any of those, though. I don't usually use much soft body paint, although you can mix it with pouring medium. And you could probably mix that with water, too, to do a pour. Okay, so let's get started. Now, I want to say they're not paying me. They just sent me some samples, and I'm just opening the box. So inside we have packing slip. Basically, paper, which you can actually reuse to separate or pack the paintings if you're selling them. And, oh boy, I have some samples of fluid colors. So these are this kind right here. If you were to buy it in the store, you would get, uh, it would look like this. So I got some samples of golden fluids. We have... Thalo Green, which I don't have in a fluid. That's awesome. I have it in the high flow, but not the fluid. Indian Yellow. I'm just going to set those over there. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Awesome. I really love this color. I love this color. I have it in a heavy body. I already have some in the fluid but that's okay because I really like it. And I even bought a larger container like this. So I already have some of that, but this is a heavy body, not a fluid. I have brown, Van Dyke brown hue. So that's a brown. Let's see. I have a dark brown, kind of like a kind of like a burnt umber and green gold so I have five colors and he sent me some gloss medium so gloss medium it says 100% acrylic medium for thin fast drying glazes extending paint collage and image transfer do not use as a varnish clean with soap and water now, I think that this gloss medium is basically very similar 
to probably pouring medium. It's similar to pouring medium. It doesn't have any paint. It's like the paint without any pigment in it and or dyes in it. So you can also use, uh, I think, GAC 100, which is another product by Golden Artist Colors. Um, that's kind of similar, I believe. So 100% acrylic medium for thin, fast drying glazes, extending paint, collage, and image transfer. So you could probably pour with this if you wanted to do a fluid painting. I got some self-leveling clear gel. Blends well with other golden gels, mediums, or colors. So a self-leveling clear gel. So I wonder if this is like a pouring medium, but a little bit thicker maybe. I don't want to waste it. There's only, there's only two ounces in there, so I don't want to waste that. So I can use that. And he sent me a, simple, a sample of clear tar gel. So this is kind of like if you were to mix this up <clears throat> and lift your um, stir up, a string would fall down. And you could actually dribble it. it it's very, I don't want to say viscous because you can get thin, one, thin um, strands of paint coming down, but you can actually... It's, it's going to keep going, kind of like when you use a hot glue gun, okay? And you know, the glue, it's still, the glue stick's still, you've used it, and you're pulling, and there's a string, and the string keeps coming. Okay, so it's kind of like that. So I'm going to set these to the side. Over there, because that didn't come in the box. And let's see what we have down here. So, mediums, gels, and specialty polymers. So, self-leveling clear gel produces an even film with excellent clarity. The gel has a unique resinous, stringy consistency resulting from the leveling property. This product dries to a flexible, high-gloss film with, which can increase transparency <coughs> excuse me, and sheen while imparting a leveling quality to other golden acrylic products. Blend with color, <clears throat> sorry, golden acrylic colors to produce glazes. And then tar gel, it says yields a pulley, tar-like feel in a colorless gel. Blends with all acrylic colors, particularly golden fluid acrylics, used to generate fine detailed lines by dripping it over surfaces as it continuously flows from the palette knives or other tools. Awesome. So that's what he gave me, tar gel and the self-leveling clear gel. And let's see if it says gloss medium. Molding paste. Polymer medium. Polymer medium gloss is a general purpose medium Useful for creating glazes, extending colors, enhancing gloss and translucency, and increasing film integrity. Its unique feel is oil-like and resinous, promoting flow and leveling. Awesome. So he gave me a pamphlet describing what each one of the products does. And more colors, more textures, more unique products. So this is really awesome. It's a color guide. And it basically tells you which colors you can purchase in heavy body paints, which again are these. Let me grab one. Like phthalo turquoise. And you can see on here all the colors that you can purchase. Open colors, which are kind of like, um, which are a soft body paint. So it's not going to be, it's going to be, it's going to tend to level itself more than say a heavy body paint. So you can see all the awesome colors you have there. Fluid acrylic colors. Now I know I can't find all these in the store, so I'm going to have to order them if I want to buy any of them. And that's ultramarine blue that I have here in my hand. And you can see from the pictures, some of the stuff that they're just kind of pouring it on there.
you can't you can't really it's a little bit thin it, it's a little bit thin to actually use by itself in a pour so I would have to add one of the other mediums to it to thicken it up a bit specialty acrylic colors iridescent and interference colors iridescent obviously that's like copper gold and then interference colors um, they're the kind of colors that when you're looking at it in one direction it's one color and when you look at it in the other direction it's another color so so they offer a unique flip when viewed from different angles they have matte acrylics hmm and high flow acrylics and the high flow acrylics are these so i didn't even know they made matte acrylics they're not sold in the store around here so then they go basically shows me the gessos and grounds that they have gels and paste that you can purchase crackle paste fiber paste i'm pretty sure somewhere i have glass bead gel as well um, extra heavy gels, okay, mediums and additives that talks about. And right here, GAC 800, there's a little blurb. In puddle, it uh, in puddles, pours, and other thin pourable paint applications. Crazing is the formation of crevices and surfaces that develop as acrylic paints and mediums dry. Yeah. The addition of GAC 800 promotes drying with a smooth, even film. Good gloss and flexibility, but with moderate clarity. And it's also useful if you want to, for adhesion to chalky surfaces. And then this is GAC 100, 100 multi-purpose acrylic polymer. It says it's designed to, in addition to diluting and extending colors, kind of like the polymer gloss that he sent me, um, it helps prevent color seeping up from underneath. So like, let's say I was going to do a pour on a record with ink in the label in the center. The GAC 100 is supposed to seal the paint in so the ink doesn't come up from the bottom. And then it talks about top coats and varnishes. This is a really useful tool that I will keep handy in case I want to order some additional colors or when I order additional colors. I'll know it has a great, um, it's just a great tool to help me know what I'm ordering. And that's awesome because sometimes you can't tell. And then we have paper. This was hand painted. This is a sample of the high flow acrylic colors, hand painted by MP. So Mike actually made that for me. That's pretty awesome. I, su I assume MP is Mike. That's really awesome. It actually is a sample of what the color would look like. There's the iridescent colors right here. Some of them are, well, you can't tell because it's on white, but like this one is transparent, so you should seek other colors through it. That's the nickel azo gold. Um, thalo green. Where's green gold? Green gold. What else do you see? Van Dyke brown. There's not a Van Dyke brown on there that I see, but that's okay. Uh, Indian yellow. Some of those aren't on there, but that's still exciting. Really exciting. That was so sweet of him. No wonder it's got the paper over it. So acrylic paint, if it's not sealed, will stick and come off. If it sticks to things. We don't want that. Oh my goodness. He did another one. Oh my gosh. He put so much time and effort into this. Okay. Iridescent copper. Iridescent gold. Iridescent gold coarse. Gold mica flake. Look at that. That looks like something awesome to add to one of my paintings. Pearl mica flake. Small. Gold mica flake. Small. They have small and large. 
the black mic micaceous iron oxide. So that's the one I used in the pink and white and black painting, but it's very heavy and it sank straight to the bottom and you couldn't see any of it, but that's what it looks like. That That's gorgeous. And then down here you have the interference colors. So hopefully when I tilt this, you can see the difference in colors. So this one is green and it's white and then purple and green. So those are interference colors. That is amazing that he sent that to me. That was so kind of him. And we have another reference guide, product descriptions, pigment identification chart, all sorts of amazing um, information. And what this is, if you'll notice, so let me pick, let me pick teal over here. So what this guide does is there's uniform standards, they're ASTM standards, and it basically has pigment information on some of these. So this is teal, so of course I've never looked at one of these charts, so this is new, but you would actually look at the Pig, it'll say on here the pigments that are included in this. Um, PW6, it's on the back. PW6, PB15 to 3, PG7, titanium white, phthalo blue, and phthalo green. So let me find one of those. So phthalo blue, green shade, okay. And it has PW6, so PW6 is titanium dioxide. It'll tell you what colors are in here. I'm going to have to look into how to read the chart better. Okay, and then here, what is this? Another wonderful brochure full of information. So... It talks about oils, in case I wanted to do oil painting, and core watercolors, acrylic colors, more colors, more textures, more unique products. So all sorts of, this is another brochure, kind of like the one that he already sent, which is even more amazing because you never can have enough stuff. Venus is not a natural blonde. She's at least 30% Hansel yellow light. That's awesome. Color mixing, modern, modern theory. So it basically talks about color mixing. And it's a glossary there. That's amazing. And here is what looks like a newsletter from Mark Golden. So all sorts of interesting things to read, uh, useful information. Uh, if I want to make something, I'm not sure what to use. I can refer to these guides. I don't want to even put these back in there, but I will just to keep it all safe in one place. So that is really exciting. So I am going to have to make a painting with these colors. But anyway, so y'all stay tuned because I'm going to use these colors to make a painting. They look kind of nice. They actually, if they don't mix too much, and brown. So that would be really awesome. And we'll call it Mike's Painting. Um, so anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, I usually upload every Friday. Sometimes you'll get one during the middle of the week. Probably this one will show Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday sometime. I do work full time, and then so the painting I do after work. <clears throat>
So if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about here, please let me know. Always know that you can also call Golden directly if you have um, a super specific question. And I look forward to seeing you guys later. Remember, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and especially hit the bell so that you can be notified as soon as the new video posts. Thanks for watching, guys. Lots of love.